Hi guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a thrust test and comparison for the budget 2306 motor that was recently released. It's called the Eagle Power uh, motor. So it's a 2306 and it comes in two KV versions. You got the 2345 KV and I think a 2600 KV. And it also comes in two colors. It comes in this red right here. And it also comes in a purple. Now this is it's it's very nice quality. It seems very good. Uh, I did try to you know tighten these very well to see if the aluminum is the crappy aluminum. No, it seems to be the decent aluminum. And uh, what I want to do today is not just grab one motor and test it. I want to do a comparison because that you know it puts it into perspective to where it is on the scale. And the motor, I couldn't think of anything better than the Racer Star 2306 2400 KV. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's just take a look at the motor here. Now, as you can tell here, the wires are pretty long. They are 20 gauge, and it's roughly 15 centimeters long wires. So they're going to be pretty good for most builds, especially if you're using 4 one ESCs. The magnets here feel very notchy. You could feel the notch in them. I don't know if you guys see that. That's the magnets. They feel they kind of feel like Emacs motor. And as you can tell here, they've gone with the uh, bottomless motors. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, bottomless basically, there's no bottom. Uh, they're not using arc magnets. I could tell from just looking at the magnets here. The gap is very minimal, so it's very small. So that's very good to see. And uh, what else do we have? So if you want to remove the belt, I really love this. Just your hex driver will pop that right off. So that's very nice to see. And overall, I mean, it looks like a very good quality motor but 16 bucks in it's six dollars more expensive than the racer star and that's why i really wanted to compare it and let's talk a little bit more about the testing methodology that i'm going to be using uh, i bought a huge power supply to enable us to get perfect voltage into this a 16.8 as stable as possible to get a real reading so we don't have to you know from battery to battery or from charge to charge you know think a lot of things could vary but i have a power supply and we just use that. Anyways, we're just testing one motor and we see how well that works. So that's 34 grams. I mean, it's pretty light. It's okay, I guess. So it is a 2306, like I mentioned before. And enough talking and let's get testing. All right, guys, so the results are in and I've used just two props, the props I think everybody usually uses and uh, it's what I use. It's a Dell 5046 tri-blades and the King Kong 5045 tri-blades. Now in the first uh, part up here in green, this is both of the motors, the Racer Star Fire Edition uh, 2306 2400 KV and that new Eagle power motor or that Eagle motor. So let's take a look here. Now what we want to do is we want to take a look at the full throttle right there. So I ran two tests of each motor, like I ran the test twice. And here we could see the kind of uh, results we get. Now, uh, what I found is the Eagle power uh, is, is actually significantly uh, less powerful than the Racer Star, which is pretty insane. That's a $6 difference. So if we take a look here, the Eagle power at the Eagle motor at full power got 792 grams of thrust. And on the second test, it got a little bit warm. It got 781 grams of thrust. And if you take a look here, it was pulling roughly 24 amps on the first run with the 792 grams of thrust. Uh, so it was pulling around 24 amps. So it is kind of efficient in a way, you might say. Uh, because if you take a look at the Racer Star here, the Fire Edition, it's getting close to a thousand kilograms, which is, I mean, a thousand grams, which is one kilogram. So it's it's pulling 968 grams at 35 amps, and it's pretty consistent at that 900. It's above 950 grams always at 35 amps. So for a Racer Star motor, believe it or not, you're going to need some pretty good ESCs because this is a 
It's very good. Now here I also have more tests. I do have more data, but we're going to keep it one step at a time. Now if we take a look, I also even have the torque. Let's see which motor is this. As you can tell also, the Racer Star is more torquier. As right there, you could tell uh, that by how much I don't know I need to put more motors in for tests to kind of get a real idea of how, how well these are. And this is on the King Kong prop. So, and if we take a look at vibrations, vibrations has to do with the, it's, I use the same um, propeller for each motor, the same exact one, I didn't replace them. And what I, you could, we could totally see the vibration here and we can see that the Racer Star has less vibration, which means it's a bit more balanced than the Eagle Power. Now, I don't know if this is a very good vibration rating just yet or not. I need to test more motors and we'll get into that later on. So. I'll have a I'll have a link to, to this uh, Excel sheet also uh, linked down below in the video so you can go ahead and check it out. And as you can tell here, if we if you take a look here, you get these numbers 2,000, 1,750. This is the throttle levels. So 1,250 is basically what 25 percent throttle. 1,500 is 50 percent. 1,750 is 75 percent, and 2,000 is full throttle. So with the King Kong props, you know if you want more power. Uh, you'd want to go for the race start and it's a lot cheaper, but you're gonna need better good ESCs to handle all those amp that amperage Look at that's 35 amps right there So it's pretty good. I mean the race star I knew it was a beast since I've been using it It's just insane. It's a $10 motor. That's just crazy for a $10 motor So let's take a look at the Dow 5046 tri blades now. We also want to look down here Let's go ahead and take a look at this so as we could tell the eagle here, let's check the thrust. It got a maximum of 828 grams of thrust at 26 amps. So it, it, it pulled a little bit more amperage to get like what 200, not, not even 200 grams more. That's like 30 grams more thrust. And to see vibrations, uh, the vibrations are better with the, uh, with the dowel prop as you could tell right there but look at look look at, that's crazy look at the racer star with the dowel prop that's that's a lot better look it's 0.79 and the eagle was getting 2.205 so this is grams vib vibration grams i guess uh or forces so yeah i'm gonna have to look that up just to double check it but as you can tell it's very noticeable on the racer star with the dowel now there's a different story on the uh, amperage here. So the Racer Star on the first run, it pulled one kilogram of thrust, which is insane. And if we take a look at the amperage, that was 40 amps right there. So you're going to need some massive, massive ESCs. And again, you know, in a real world situation, when the wind's blowing, you got four motors, this will be somewhat possibly less. I don't know. I've never tested it, so I, I, I can't answer that. But it's pulling a pretty good amount of uh, amperage, the race, that's where you start motor. And on the second test, it was a little bit warm. I like to run this test. Uh, I keep it full throttle for three full seconds. So it goes two seconds on 25% throttle, another two seconds, like it just jumps up. It doesn't stop and start. And then, you know, I just do it like that. And then it really puts a lot of pressure on the motor. And if a motor were to burn, then it's really a piece of crap that way because it, they all do tend to get warm, some warmer than others. And we'll talk about those motors later on. So here are the results. I mean, you know, uh, 26 amps for the Eagle with the dial prop and the thrust was 800 grams. So it's more efficient. It's a lot l easier on your quad but in return you know you're paying six bucks more for something less powerful now i've been i've never i don't have any real experience or real life flight with the eagle uh motors i've never tested them before but the racer star i can vouch for them day in day out i still love those motors those are the best motors you could buy on a budget and perform like a a high-end motor and and you know the results speak for themselves I'm, I'm not even i'm not making you know it's right there it's all in front of you which is just pretty insane uh, so next we'll probably get the 2600 kV fire edition racer star and check those out but overall uh, you know here are the results and yeah and I really hope it helps someone out there make a decision out there for me personally I would jump on the racer star that's just my opinion I've been using them I've been loving them I've had no issues and those things are, are they perform pretty damn good I can tell you that very good and that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope it helped someone out there. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support this channel to bring in more 
testing and more equipment to test and more components to test so we could all make educated guesses and you know you also get a bonus prize every month you know i do two giveaways per per month on patreon uh this month will be the jeb rc sparrow and something else i don't know what just yet but something obviously is going to be pretty good and um yeah and you could also use the affiliate links down below those greatly support the channel greatly support the channel and please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time see you guys take care